Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Last week I did a build on this Acrobee 75 and today we're going to be setting this thing up on Betaflight so you guys can see how to set that up. This is going to be specifically with the Nano RX. That is going to be a little bit different if you're using the internal RX, but we are using the Nano RX. Let's head straight over to the computer. Okay, let's go ahead and plug our flight controller into the computer. And if your computer does not recognize your flight controller right away, that might be because you're using a cord that does not carry signal. So play around with a couple different cords. Uh, your cord might be um, one that only charges and doesn't carry um, the signal. For some reason, some cords don't work and some cords do. I'm not sure of the science behind it, but first thing we're gonna want to do in here is you're going to want to place your um, craft or your drone on a flat level space and then you're going to want to calibrate it so you're just going to do that by clicking this and as soon as it's done it will say it's done we'll say it's finished right up here and then next thing you're going to want to move down to is ports and I already have mine set up um, so this is why this third one UR2 is already switched but you'll want to switch this on like I have it here. Initially, it's going to be in the off position, so you'll want to make sure that is on, and then make sure to save that. In configuration, you aren't gonna do anything unless you want to switch something like your craft name, that kind of thing, um, for your DVR. Power and battery, you aren't gonna do anything. Presets, you aren't gonna do anything. You're gonna move down to PID tuning, and this is the PIDs that I'm running on mine currently. This is off my Mosquito Extra Large build, so this is not specifically for this one, but it is a two cell tune. You can take these numbers and put it in there. It's not gonna fly perfect, but at least it won't go to the moon on you, hopefully. And then on rates, this is just some generic rates. So I don't switch mine at all, I just run them on that. First thing you're gonna want to do when you come into receiver is switch this right here to serial via UART. And then down here, you're going to want to switch this to uh, Crossfire. And then on the channel map, you're going to want to switch this to the TAER1234 because otherwise, these things right here, like your roll pitch and all that, might be backwards. Um, initially, it is um, because I believe this is set on something else by default. Um, but you'll want to make sure to switch this to the TAER1234. One, two, three, four to make sure that's running properly. Then we're gonna go ahead down to modes. This is how I have mine set up. This is just personal preference. This is totally up to you how you want it set up. But this is how I have mine set up. So if you want to set it up like me, I guess you can set it up this way, but that's just personal preference. The other thing I did on mine, which is not stock, is I switched my motor direction. That's totally personal preference also. So you can flip that so they're spinning out, so they're not spinning into your camera. Um, so that might keep a little bit less grass or whatever you're flying through. Um, keep it from your camera. And that is everything we're going to be doing on the computer. Thanks for joining me for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful so you know what buttons you need to push to get this thing running. If you have any questions beyond what I showed you on the computer, definitely let me know down in the comments. And we'll see you next time.